Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir. And this is going to be a rather special classroom chat. I have with me Mr. Ashish Kapoor joining me live from Jamshedpur. Ashish, thank you very much for joining us on Study with Sudhir. And this is going to be special because Mr. Kapoor is going to give tips and strategies on how to approach the physics ICSC class 10 paper, the examination which is going to take place as part of your term one MCQ based examination in the month of November and December. So my first question, uh, Ashish, uh, what would you tell to all those students who are feeling rather nervous and stressed at this point in time, because it's a different format that they're going to take the exams in? Uh, thank you, sir, for inviting me for this uh, uh, very informative uh, session, which I always have been saying that it's a very authentic channel. And uh, thank, you. thank you once again for inviting me. And uh, one, as you said, uh, there is a quite, quite anxiety among the kids these days as to multiple choice examination, like multiple choice uh, paper will be uh, held for several subjects, right? Yes. So I will only say, like, since I'm talking about physics, I'll say keep calm and study physics. <laughs> uh, now, uh, now, thing is, uh, hmm. Here, uh, we need to know certain few things about mm. multiple choice questions. Like the day it was announced that it will be now a multiple choice examination. Uh, it was a merry moment all around that uh, multiple choice is going to be a quick escape for everybody. And, mm. uh, you know, they can tail through. Mm. But let me tell you, it's going to be a little uh, tough, but it's not a hard nut to crack. Let me tell you. Mm. Uh, only thing is uh, here, there are a few points which I'll keep uh, saying to uh, uh, through your medium specifically. Uh, first thing, you cannot do any shortcut. First mm. thing, there's no substitute. Uh, Any of there's no substitute to hard work with a shortcut. So no shortcuts in physics. You need to be thorough with the text. Absolutely thorough with the text. Mm. Now, in case, for example, uh, there were some kind of derivations which used be which we could have expected if it was a subjective paper, but mm. uh, no derivation will be coming as of now, because it's an objective paper, but yes. in the middle of the derivation, you can expect a numerical to exist okay. or to come. Hmm. So you can't just, uh, you know, give a blind eye and, uh, you know, quickly escape uh, those topics and just hmm. go ahead. No, hmm. you have to be very, very careful when it hmm. comes to numerical purpose. So okay. numerical can become, can arise from any one particular line of your, uh, derivation also so you so, need to at least glance through that's what okay. i want me to say okay in the sense that see uh, previous year uh, i mean the uh, batches before this at least had uh, they could take recourse to depending on the previous year question yes. papers understanding the format understanding the style of questions yeah. would you say that this batch in that sense is kind of groping in the dark without anything except the specimen paper which has been released by the council to fall back on uh, for like many students, they even ask me this question about the fact that uh, what to refer and which book to refer for MC. Mm -hmm. Now, at present, I would suggest you have to uh, again refer to your past papers also because your past papers, some questions now can turn into form of MCQs. MCQs. Earlier, it was a subjective papers. Yes. Subjective questions where you need to mm -hmm. write definition or something. Now, the definition will be given and they'll be asking which physical quantity is it represented? Hmm. So it's like a one liner with four hmm. choices, right? So you need to know the text, the, hmm. the textual, textual contents remains the same. But only thing is what I uh, urge here is uh, you need to have a practice of uh, hmm. several MCQs. Now there hmm. will be some uh, multiple choice paper, uh, like questions, sample papers coming up yes. uh, apart from your council paper. So yes. at least buy some good sample papers and start practicing. That's the only mm. option. And right. there are going to be plenty of them in the market mm. now. Yes. So Absolutely. you can uh, rely on any one of them. As yes. long as you are thorough with your text, it doesn't yes. matter which book it is. As right. long as you are thorough with your text. Right. I mean, that's what I've been so, telling the students that let's focus first on the study and the revision part and the MCQs yes, can absolutely. follow. They don't, they don't have to be in a tearing hurry to grab the first MCQ uh, book yes. that arrives in the market. 
But the point that you just now mentioned a little while ago about students' first reaction was that this is going to be quite an easy affair. It's going to be quite a merry affair. Yes. Uh, but MCQs definitely does not necessarily mean that it's going to be an easy exam. It can be a tricky googly definitely. Absolutely, because there can be some multiple choice questions which are going to be very, very close, having very, very close options. Close. If I say mm. five, five hundred, if mm. I say five, five hundred point five and mm. uh, five uh, fifty, mm. then you will definitely get confused because in physics, we definitely play with units. We play yes. with units. If I'm giving yes. something in Newton and mm. somewhere I'm giving in centimeters Absolutely. and we expect the child always to use the SI unit. We yes. always expect to use the SI unit, MKS hmm. units. Hmm. So the child generally forgets to convert into uh, the SI system. He hmm. has not converted centimeter to meters and he's just hmm. multiplied and randomly got the answer. So that there he again Bill. is penalized because he did not uh, convert the units. Right. So you need to be a little extra alert when it comes hmm. to uh, multiple choice questions. And the biggest, uh, not a disadvantage, I will say you, because you mm. need to find advantage in all situations, right? Mm. So uh, only thing is the problem, what is, uh, what a child can face, there's no step mark. Mm. There's no step mark. So earlier yes. in numericals, if you are going wrong, yes. in the final answer, you are penalized. You are penalized yes. in your final answer. But, yes. and you are awarded, suppose there, it's a three mark question. So you are, there will be marks for every step. Because, yes. Yeah, you are still given a two marks because the final answer, the child did not get it correct. Correct. But now there is no two marks. Either you yeah. get a plus two or a minus, or plus two correct. or a zero. zero. There is no minus marking. There is yes. no negative marking, definitely. Going forward, I mean, these students who are in class 10 and many of them would aspire to take the JE or the NEET or any of the private uh, engineering or medical examinations. Do you see yes. this as useful practice in terms of... Uh, the ability to attempt an MCQ based question paper successfully. Yes. Uh, it's a useful, I mean, it's a useful practice. It's a useful initiation uh, in that yeah. sense, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, the moment I heard that this is going to be the new trend or the new pattern, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how long it will continue. That is, uh, that is a big yes. question mark now. But for this year, at mm -hmm. least I found it very, very, uh, you know, I think it's a, good practice now which is getting developed hmm. for the kids because there are several kids uh, after hmm. 10th only they decide for whether they want to go for medical or for engineering, engineering. so yes. ultimately the uh, idea is for a competition sector hmm. they want to you know hmm. uh, get into it yes. so they will have multiple choice questions they will not hmm. have their subjective long answers hmm. and uh, for that at least class 10 is a biggest, uh, you know, that benchmark or not benchmark. It's a correct platform where mm. they can really, you know, get into the groove or get mm. a hang of it. Mm. That uh, in, uh, for competition, it will be quite helpful for them. Absolutely. Definitely so, uh, so as a physics teacher, what would you tell to students? What should they do in the next seven to eight weeks? Uh, so there are a few things which... Uh, uh, they should actually take away with this video. I'll tell mm. you. The first thing is you read the text very carefully. Mm. Whatever textbook you are following, specifically class 10 ICC, they follow on science physics all around the country. Mostly. Yes. yes. Uh, then you need to be a thorough with the text. It's not that you can escape the textbook and come jump, just directly jump to the uh, test papers and solve some MCQ. Absolutely. You can't expect the same MCQ to be there on the paper. Yes. It is absolute. You can have something application based also. Hmm. So you, you have to be thorough with the text. First thing, hmm. you make your own small notes, which I hmm. always say pocket notes. Hmm. You make your own pocket notes because MCQ, you can't keep reading the big, big notes before one day before your examination. So you need to have Absolutely. a crisp and a short notes, a yes. pocket notes so that you glance through immediately or a mind map. There is something called mind map in yes. uh, physics yes. where you have everything at one glance, it, yes. it will definitely help the student to know mm. that I have touched upon all the topics properly and formula list mm. formula list is like a, uh, it's like, it's like a Bible. You need mm. to have that with you because if you have that, mm. it will definitely, and you need to constantly learn, recall, learn, recall, revise. Mm. So these three uh, things, if you keep doing numericals will be a cakewalk for you. Right. So definitely you need to have all these uh, strategies in your hand and always 
all not only in your hand but implement it also okay so these are about the do's i'm sure there would be don'ts also what students should not do in order to ensure yeah. that they get the physics right so don'ts under don'ts i'll say first thing again do not rush read mm-hmm. the question carefully mm-hmm. and conversion of units is a very important factor in class 10 also yes. because students yes. uh, they tend to forget uh, they tend to forget to convert the units and get mm-hmm. and get the correct answer always mm-hmm. si unit is preferred mm-hmm. mostly si unit is preferred only mm-hmm. and specifically uh, for uh, diagram based mm-hmm. questions mm-hmm. you need to think mm-hmm. pause and think because students have this tendency like uh this will be the option this will be the option just mm. you can randomly choose any one of the option no mm. because there can be some ray diagrams which are mm. going to confuse you badly mm. so they're going to confuse you badly so right. uh that is one okay. thing and if you do not write and practice specifically the formulas mm. so again that will be a uh, disadvantage on your part because you won't get the instant click for your examination mm. and right. it is mcq is all about the instant click and nothing hmm. else because right. my, you have that yes my last question ashish uh, there are some schools which are kind of having their examinations in the months of september october which are combining the semester 1 and the semester 2 uh, syllabus uh, which is i mean stressing out some of the students do you think it's a good idea to also do a bit of the sem 2 syllabus right now or focus only on getting the semester 1 right uh personally speaking sir i would definitely not advise uh i would uh, uh, the students to go ahead with the same to syllabus mm. even if the school is teaching maybe mm. due to paucity paucity of time or mm. uh, time crunch in the later mm. half mm. but uh, uh i will suggest you stick to class uh, uh, like the se- first semester first one examination on first Yes, then one examination only mm-hmm. because anyhow they have studied online mm-hmm. and now that they're coming back to school, it's like a quite a good revision. It's like mm-hmm. uh, in the physical classroom, mm-hmm. there's there'll be some kind of revision for them. Right. And at right. the same time, they can clarify their doubts. So mm-hmm. I will suggest uh, one at a time, one at a mm-hmm. time. So right. Okay. Let us. Thank complete. you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ashish, for all these tips. I'm sure the students Thank are you. going to gain a lot from this, and we'll stay connected. Uh, as far as your thank useful you, tips are concerned on physics here on study with sudeep thank you very much for your time thank you sir thank you for your uh, for inviting me for to this platform i am actually always a great fan of your work i have uh, and even um, i acknowledge your work not only here in this platform to my kids also so this is the most authentic channel to rely on and uh, students should actually bank upon you for english and history <laughs> definitely right. i have seen thank your work you. thank you thank you very much thank you, thank you very much, you very much uh, for your kind words thank you sir thank you very much for your time thank you thank you thank you